today we are discussing an interesting trick for doing collision problem in 20 seconds before starting our discussion i'll just remind you to subscribe my channel these type of tricks are very useful in your competitive examination it's interesting you can do the problems within a short time but uh, while going for studying or understanding these tricks first of all you should clear the concepts regarding with that situations so always give importance to clear your concepts in those situations in this video i am presenting the trick for doing head on collisions only not for oblique collisions that means if uh, the collision is at a particular angle then we cannot use this equation so always uh, not that point before starting our discussion we are not discussing the shortcut for oblique collision in this video but uh, there are some methods if you want to know about this please go and uh, comment in the comment box we know that for in the case of collision there are three types one is perfectly elastic collision in which the kinetic energy and momentum both are conserved in that case the coefficient of restitution is taken as 1 and the second type of collision is inelastic in the case of inelastic collision the kinetic energy is not conserved only momentum is conserved there and the value of coefficient of restitution is in between 0 and 1 in the case of perfectly inelastic collision the value of e become equal to 0 kinetic energy is not conserved there and uh, we want to discuss the details regarding with coefficient of restitution also it is the change in the final velocity divided by the change in initial velocity that means we know that in the case of collision there is velocity of approach and velocity of separation and uh, coefficient of restitution is actually the ratio of the velocity of separation to the velocity of approach for solving this type of problems actually we take the conservation equations here and uh, from that uh, we reach up to the expression for final velocity it is a lengthy procedure and very difficult to remembering the equations regarding uh, equations for final velocity of the body along with that uh, it is very difficult to fix the positive and negative sign here anyway you know that uh, it's a long procedure in some problems you know that it takes four or five minutes at least here i am introducing a shortcut which works in 20 seconds you can find out the uh, final velocity of the body uh, for that uh, it's very easy to remember the equation and also for doing problems it's very simple and quite interesting it is center of mass approach but its theory is little bit complicated and i am not uh, going for its theory i just introduce the final expression for finding out the final velocity of the body uh, we know by center of mass approach uh, we assume that uh, we are looking or we are analyzing the problem by fixing a ori- the origin of the frame at the center of mass it's really amazing the expression for the final velocity of the body is very short and easy to remember its velocity final velocity equal to 1 plus coefficient of restitution into velocity of the center of mass minus coefficient of restitution into initial velocity of the 
body it's a very short expression and easy to remember and also we can uh, calculate the final velocity very quickly means less than 20 seconds we can we want to find out only the expression for the velocity of the center of mass we know the velocity of the center of mass uh, as m1 v1 plus m2 v2 divided by m1 plus m2 and initial velocity is given in the question and also uh, the coefficient of restitution is given in the question maybe the value is given there otherwise there is a statement that uh, um, revels the coefficient of restitution which means elastic collision or inelastic or perfectly inelastic collision i am just uh, put or use this equation in a particular problem then you can easily uh, understand the situation for that uh, i am just uh, consider a collision situation here our first body of mass 4 kg is moving with velocity 8 m per second and our second body of mass 6 kg is moving with velocity 10 m per second the second body is moving towards first body and collide each other this is head on collision we are using our equation for this particular case we get our expression for final velocity is written here and first we want to find out the velocity of the center of mass which is m1 v1 plus m2 v2 divided by m1 plus m2 we got the velocity of center of mass as 9.2 meter per second we are going to find out the final velocity of the first body for that uh, we are considering the situation of elastic collision here that means e is equal to 1 then for first body we can find out the final velocity by using the above expression we got the final velocity of the first body as 10.4 meter per second very quickly we can solve this expression just we want to find out the velocity of the center of mass only if you like this video then subscribe my channel if you have any comments then use the comment box and we can meet with another video thank you very much